I had predicted that Wesley would never win. I was wrong. He totally won. Not only did he win, I feel he dominated the competition. Coach Greg, and today's video is about Wesley Visitors. I was wrong. He won. Congrats to Wesley. I was wrong. As I said, I'm only right 98% of the time. I'm not always right. Kenny K.O. did a video on me and said I lost all credibility because I was wrong. Greg Doucette basically lost all credibility in my books. Well, Kenny K.O. did a video on Larry Wheels after that whole incident. I'm not going to get into it too bad. He took the video down. He was wrong. We all make mistakes. We all make errors. We're not always right. 98% of the time, that means one out of 50 times I'm going to get it all wrong. So I'm going to do a detailed recap on how he did and why. I'm going to go over Kenny Kale's BS that he said about me. He got it all wrong. So Wesley Vizard won. Why? Because he was way more ripped this time. He definitely came in sharp and crispy and looked good. Okay? Now, a lot of people disliked the last video I did because I basically did a critique of his physique. And I also said he was cocky, which people really hated. So I'm going to get into the cocky part first. The reason I said he was cocky, because I saw back behind the scenes footage, he had placed 10th in a, in, a, in, a, in a show. And he was very disappointed. He basically was saying, well, I don't understand how I got 10th. What are they looking for? And the whole thing. So it's a classic physique class, but obviously they don't want to see right. the classic physique. So that's why I thought he was cocky. And by cocky, I don't mean like an asshole. Like, I'm not, I don't think he's a jerk humble and all that stuff yeah he's all of that okay so rather than say cocky i totally got that wrong okay i should have said he has an unrealistic view of what classic physique is so in his mind it's arnold schwarzenegger the the guys from the 70s and 80s and stuff that unfortunately is not what classic physique is and i know a lot of you think it is and you're all very very strongly associated wesley and you love him and that's great i'm glad to see he has such good supporting fans it's awesome it's amazing it's i'm really happy to see that um unfortunately classic physique is not just looking like somebody in the past so arnold schwarzenegger is obviously gonna be our number one example arnold schwarzenegger if he had competed in the show against wesley would have been beaten by wesley doesn't mean Arnold sucks. So stop saying, oh, Greg's a hater. He hates Arnold Schwarzenegger because he said Wesley would have beat him in his prime. No, Wesley is way leaner than Arnold was. Arnold was not lean enough. Does that mean Wesley shouldn't have won because he was too lean? He didn't look like Arnold because he was leaner than Arnold? No. How do you think Tom Platts would do now in a freaking classic physique? He would get last place. He wouldn't even make the weight class. He doesn't look classic at all. How do you think Franco Colombo would have done at his prime? Last place wouldn't even make the weight class, doesn't look class at all. It's not a contest about looking like the guys in the past. It's a small waist contest with shredded muscle and massiveness and meeting the height to weight ratio. That's just how it is, okay? I had predicted that Wesley would never win. I was wrong, he totally won. Not only did he win, I feel he dominated the competition. All pros are amazing. I don't care if you got last place. You're freaking good. What I mean is nobody on the Olympia stage, no Olympians competed against him. As in, David Hoffman wasn't in the show. Arash Rabar wasn't in the show. Breon wasn't. Chris Bumstead wasn't. Keon wasn't. And the list goes on. So there was no top guy. So in my mind, I thought Classic is getting harder and harder to win every year because the guys, the quality is going up and up and up. So I thought Wesley's going to be like a top three kind of dude in the pro shows. It, obviously, if he goes to the right show and, I mean, he dominated. It's He won. What am I supposed to say? He looked great. In my last video, I said... He's about a top 50 guy in the world. I said there are dozens of better guys out there. A dozen, those of you math inclined, there's about 12 in a dozen. Dozens, plural. So three dozen. So say 36 guys. So I had him in the top 50. I'd have to upgrade him now to about a top 30 guy. Don't be a hater 
on me just because I don't think he's the top 10 best built guys in the world. There's billions of people in the world. When I say he's the top 50 in the world, it's not insulting him. If somebody said, Greg, you're only the thousandth best built guy in the world. Oh, you hate it. No, that's a huge compliment. If I'm in the top million, that's awesome. Think of how many people are on this planet. So I said he was the top 50. Now I'd have him in the top 30. I still don't see him as a top 10. Maybe he will be. Maybe he'll prove me wrong. Whatever we will see. Now, another thing. People have been suggesting that there's some kind of grudge I have with him. Some kind of behind the scene. Nothing. He's never... Allie. What? Have you ever slept with Wesley? Never. Have you emailed, texted, and flirted and all that stuff? I couldn't even pick him up in a crowd. <laughs> she has no idea who this guy is. So, so no, there's no truth to that rumor with Kenny K.O., had suggested. There's none, okay? Next, they're trying to make me look bad by saying that I think that Dan Bilzerian's better built than him because I said Dan Bilzerian has elite genetics. I said he had elite genetics like top 1%. 1% is one out of 100. Dan is a 40-year-old man who trains for fun and parties a lot, but yet looks like that. Wesley and me, for example, make our careers based on this. We train our asses off, and this is what we do. Dan parties and looks like he does. And I'm not going to say that uh, Wesley's natty or not. Not going to go there. But Dan is not on a lot of gear. I did a video on Dan. He's like on HRT, whatever. And to look like that while partying is freaking good. It's elite genetics. Most 40-year-old men will not look like him. You could say, oh, I don't like his build. His waist is too thick. It's like, eh. dude's got a six-pack. He's 40 and parties with Playboy models all the time. It's pretty damn impressive. Now, just because I said he has elite genetics, I didn't say Wesley didn't. Wesley's genetics are 0.00001%. He's in the top 30, 50, whatever built men in the world. Dan in the top 1% is like, I don't know, the top, say, million bodies in the world. So he's like 999,000 worse than, than Wesley. I'm not comparing Dan to Wesley. Dan has a great physique for a 40-year-old man who parties. He has good genetics. A normal 40-year-old man who parties doesn't look like that. Maybe one in a hundred do, okay? His genetics of Wesley are far superior way incredibly way far superior okay so i had to point that out next kenny ko says well greg says uh wesley's vacuum isn't good i don't like his vacuum i hardly like a vacuum on anyone one of the only vacuums i like is chris bumstead do i like george peterson's vacuum no zero it's horrible what about brian ainsley no zero horrible Second and third Olympia guys in the world, and I don't like their vacuums. So if I say I don't like Wesley's vacuum, it's not like, oh, he's a hater, I'm jealous. No. So he says, well, Greg, let's see your vacuum. In fact, if you want to bash his vacuum so bad, Greg, why don't you go ahead and hit a vacuum on your next YouTube video? I thought he followed me on Instagram. I posted my vacuum. I learned how to do a vacuum this year. My vacuum is arguably really good. But that's not even the point. Well, we can maybe throw up a picture of my vacuum and Wesley's. And you can say, yeah, Greg's and Wesley's vacuums are good. Or you might say, Wesley sucks. Greg sucks. You might say, Greg's is good. Wesley's is good. Whatever you can decide for yourself if I have a good vacuum and if Wesley does. I'm not a fan of the vacuum pose. I think Wesley looks better doing abs. I don't like thigh and abdominal and no abs. I like thigh and abdominal six pack. That's just what I like. I'm a classic physique judge, certified judge. I judge shows, my girlfriend judge shows, okay? So when I critiqued his physique, I was doing it from a critique of classic physique, not what I think, what judges and the sport thinks. Judges in the sport would critique his physique in what I said. He needed to be leaner, he got leaner, that's great. He needed more V-shape, stuff like that. The legs needed more sweep, things like that. It's just fact, okay? Now, he won the show. He's going to the Olympia. Awesome, amazing. Would he have won any show? No. What if David Hoffman showed up? 
If you beat David Hoffman, well, then obviously he's a top 10 Olympian. So if you beat really good guys, you're proving yourself to be really good. Let's say I went to Germany and I was the only one in the show and I won and I went to the Olympia. Could I then say, I'm amazing, I'm the best guy in the world? No, but if I go and beat Breon, then you could say, hey, Greg beat Breon. Breon got second at the Olympia. Greg is a challenge to Chris Bumstead. That would be factual, but it would be impossible. I have a zero chance of winning that. Just like I have zero chance of winning in Germany and zero chance of winning in Niagara, zero chance because my waist isn't small enough. I'm not saying I'm better than Wesley. Wesley is way better built than me. So stop saying like, I'm hating on him and all this. He's way better than me. It doesn't mean I'm not confident in my own body. I just know how good some of these guys are. All pros are great. You have to win like your national championship just to get a pro card. It's hard. You're really good. If you win an amateur show and turn pro, you're good. And then you have to go against all the best pros. It's hard. Kenny KO says I lost all credibility. He's the one that said that Larry Wheels, and I'm not even going to get into it, had this big issue with, you know, the charges, and he said all this stuff. He takes the video down. At least I leave my video up, and I stand by what I said. Except for the cocky, I used the wrong terminology. He just was had unrealistic views of what classic physique was supposed to be. You know, it's not his fault. He's a young guy. He doesn't know. He's not a judge. If he was, if he knew, he wouldn't have not, he wouldn't have complained. It's just like, that's just the look that they go. It doesn't mean he's a bad person. And I'm not saying he's an evil man. He's a nice guy. I like his videos. I watch his stuff. Okay. And when I said he got famous through Nick's strength and power, I didn't mean he wouldn't have got any fame, but it certainly propelled him to fame much quicker and much better and much faster. So I'm not saying Wesley is a nobody and Nick's Nick strength and power made it. I'm saying Nick Strength and Power gave him that boost, like, yeah, like he won the show. I mean, Nick Strength and Power is like, what, I don't know, $700,000? So like 700,000 people watch this and learn about it. So that's going to make him more popular. You know, it's just, that's how it works. It's not a bad thing. So Wesley deserves what he got. He deserved to win. He deserves to be in the Olympia. I'm not hating on him. I'm not jealous. He didn't, I don't have a feud with him. I'm not trying to talk bad about them so that they'll hire me for coaching. You guys got it all wrong. I, all, I save critiques of people. I talked about lots. I did videos on Keon. I did videos on Natty or Knots and stuff. I did videos on uh, Stephanie Butternor, uh, Jeff Nippard, the vegan girl that thinks that you can't eat fructose. I talk about a lot of people in a lot of videos. It's just how I am. It's not, I haven't changed. So, did I lose credibility? Did I even have any in the first place? I'm not even a doctor. How could I judge him as if he's gonna win or not? If I say the Toronto Raptors are gonna win the freaking NBA championship this year and they don't, do I lose credibility in my advice on SARMs? Is that even related? So, credibility, I mean, you predict the guy's gonna win. I said Chris Bumstead was gonna get second in the Olympia this year, and guess what? He did and he won. I thought he wouldn't be able to overcome the injuries that he had, the hamstring tears and the problems and the uphill battle with health. And I thought he'd get second and he won. Does that mean I have no credibility that I don't know anything about the sport or nutrition or dieting? That's just moronic, guys. Come on. So anyway, tell him. Greg Doucette actually knows how to do a vacuum. And if he didn't even know that, then what credibility does he have if he didn't even know that I, in fact, have a really good vacuum pose and I didn't even know how to do one till this year? Is that cocky? Yeah, I'm cocky because I think I have a good vacuum pose. I argue that it's one of the best in classic physique. There you go. Not one of the best in the Olympia, but I bet it'll be one of the best in the pro shows that I compete in because I can actually do the vacuum. My goal is to get top five. Wesley's goals are obviously a lot higher than mine. His goals obviously are to win. I was hoping to stand on stage against him, not to trash talk him, just to be on stage with a quality guy who was a top, you know, now top 30 in the world. You guys are just, I don't know how to explain it. It's not insulting. I guess it's because you're not mathematical. I'm very like mathematical. And if I say somebody's ranked 50th in the world, to me, that's a compliment. 
but you guys think it's an insult. So whatever. I'm going to end this video here. Wesley is off to the Olympia. I was wrong. Granted, the level of competition wasn't high, but I didn't predict it right. I thought the competition would be hard enough that he would win. I thought a bunch of Olympians would show up and it would be too hard for him to win. Like I thought maybe a top five Olympian would show up and beat him and, and that he would only get second and not qualify. But he qualified and won. Prove me wrong. Boom. Congrats to Wesley for proving Greg wrong and making me look stupid in the process. And it's all good. I'm only right most of the time. I'm not always going to be right. Don't ever do or listen to anything I say. Never break the law. Never do anything bad. Don't ever suntan. Don't eat or drink anything because it all could be contaminated and kill us all. So be careful. Don't go vegan. Don't go keto. Don't eat anything that you haven't tested. And be careful with your health. And never do anything unless your doctor tells you. Video here and here. Watch one of them. Please click subscribe. And click the bell button so you can get the swoosh notification that I'm posting a video to uh, perhaps be wrong about someone or perhaps be right. We don't know anymore. It'll be the more dramatical now. Is Greg going to get it wrong about whoever? Yeah. Anyway, gregdusset.com for coaching. Gregdusset.com for pro. Instagram, I am out.